Hey everyone, welcome back to a new Wizard101 video. I've been thinking a lot about the updated tutorial video that I put out, which was probably my most viewed video in 24 hours ever. So thank you guys so much for watching that video. It was crazy. We hit a thousand likes in like, well, less than 12 hours, I think, on that. And uh, I think it's over 1,600 likes now. So thank you guys for watching that. I'm glad you all enjoyed it. Thanks to KI for giving me that teaser because it was great. Being able to see the updated character models and Golem Core and all of that got a lot of people excited. But with that, that video has over 500 comments. And in the comments on there, in the comments on uh, Twitter mentions that I've gotten and stuff like that, uh, a lot of people have been talking about this graphical update because that video that I put out really showed what this update is going to look like how it's going to change everything that we know in wizard city and it got some people talking about how maybe they're not going to be comfortable with this and they would prefer it just to stay the same because that's what they're used to because that's how they know the game and they've known it for almost 10 years maybe less if they haven't played it for that long but it's interesting to think about that because not everyone that's playing Wizard 101 is playing it every single day. Maybe they're coming back to it because they remember it from five plus years ago and they're coming back and being like, oh yeah, I remember all this. And it's starting to come back in their head. But if it changes everything, it won't change, you know, the real like setup of every single area. I mean, Raven was still going to be the same. It's just going to look different. And I was surprised to see how many people thought that this was a bad thing saying like, oh, I, I'm going to miss the old one. I mean, yeah, I'm going to miss the old one too. But they're also saying that they would prefer the old textures just because that's how it's always been. And when they go back to the game, the nostalgia factor is, you know, <laughs> it's kind of tied in your head to the old textures because that's what it's always been for you. And for me, when I think back on this, I was like, okay, if I were to think back to... My early days of Wizard 101 before I did YouTube or anything like that. What places or what instances or something like that were the most nostalgic for me that I can remember? And one of them was that I vividly remember. I don't know why. Maybe I just did it so much. Was in Marleybone. That's why I'm in Marleybone right now. And uh, I'm in Newgate Prison. I just picked an area. And one big nostalgic factor for me in the game was farming for reagents and I know it sounds dull and kind of boring and all that but for me what I would do is every single morning before school I would go on Wiz and I guess I had a membership because I was able to go to Marleybone but I needed scrap iron and there was no way for me to get it from gardening because I didn't you know I wasn't that high level in the game or anything the only way that I looked this up too on how to get it was to farm it by just running around Marleybone looking for different places where it spawned and what it would do is i would have a little route going through these teleporters just looking for it and if it wasn't here then i would switch realms or i would switch to a different teleporter and i would teleport all around here looking for it on the sides and all that and i would do that every morning and honestly it was kind of fun for me to do that because it was kind of like my little escape before i went to school and yeah, i had fun with it even though it was just farming like for me it was fun and I enjoyed Marley, but I still enjoy Marley, but I think it's a great world. But that's one little like nostalgic part of the game for me. And that was a while ago before I had any of these characters that I have now in the game. So I understand where people are coming from when they say that the game might lose that nostalgic factor for them. And once the textures are in place, I don't think there's going to be a way to go back. It'd be cool if they had like... I don't think this is going to happen, but what if they had a way to, like, maybe they put some type of teleporter or something that allows you to teleport back to the old commons just to see it. I don't think that would actually happen. Maybe they could make it at some point in the future, but it'd be a nice comparison to be able to go back to the old commons. They don't have to let you go back to every single area in Wizard City, just maybe the commons or something, maybe Ravenwood, just to see it. And then you can teleport to the regular comments which will be the updated one at the that point and you would be able to see the new one it would be interesting to be able to kind of switch between them you wouldn't be able to do anything in the old comments it would just be there for looks and just to kind of revisit 
old memories, but that'd be interesting. Here's the thing. I feel like once this actually happens and everyone sees the update and how it's changed, I feel like a lot more people will enjoy it and feel like the game is better because of it. That's how I'm feeling. We need to be able to have it in test room so I can show people and be like, this is a good change because it's kind of like remastering a old PS1 game. A lot of companies have been remastering their old games from years and years ago. And a lot of them I played like Crash Bandicoot, Spyro is getting a remaster and tons of other games. But they're remastering these because the people that are nostalgic about the games are now being able to play them in higher definition. And that's what Wizard is. Wizard is being brought into a higher definition with the graphics. So we're getting HD remastered Wizard 101, at least for Wizard City. And I think that's exciting. Every time that I've seen a game that I played a long time ago get remastered, I've gotten it because I want to experience it, but I want to experience it in better quality. Because in your mind, I feel like you imagine old games that you used to play in higher quality than they actually were. And that's probably since we were used to other games that have way better graphics than in the past. And that's where Wizard comes in. This game is almost 10 years old and the graphics are about the same at least the early worlds like you know wizard city crocotopia molly bone a little bit so all these old worlds could definitely benefit from a texture upgrade and they're going to start with wizard city maybe in the future they're going to move to croc and then molly bone mushu i think mushu could look so cool with an update just imagine the pirate 101 mushu in wizard 101 that would be such a great addition even if they took the textures from that or they made new textures for it, that'd be something that I'd look forward to. And after this Wizard City texture update, that's something we might get. We might be able to get the next couple of worlds every update or so. They'd be like, okay, now we're going to start rolling out the texture updates for Crocotopia and then Mollybone. And they'll just keep going. I don't think they're going to go past maybe Celestia, but I'm not sure if they, how like far they are to actually need to go because the later worlds have better textures than what they had in the beginning i think the first arc has the worst textures because they were the first worlds that they created when the game came out originally in 2008 there were four worlds and that was the first four wizard city through mushu and then dragon spire was added later so the first arc definitely could use that update of the graphics this would give players something to look forward to because once Wizard City is updated, you know they're going to update Crocotopia later. And so we could look forward to the next world that they're going to update, Crocotopia, Marleybone, and then eventually all of Arc 1 is going to be updated like that, I'm guessing. It might take a little while, and that's why they're starting with Wizard City. We thought they were just going to do the commons, and then it turns out it's going to be all of Wizard City, I'm guessing. That includes Firecat Alley. Triton, Cyclops, I'm guessing all of that is going to be updated because it's the same textures. Not exactly, but why wouldn't they change all of that? Because it's going to be weird if you look, if you remember the picture of Golem Court from my teaser, it's going to be weird if Golem Court and the commons and all that looks like that. And then even Old Town, they're going to probably update Old Town. And then you go into Firecat Alley and it looks like the old one. That's going to be pretty weird. They're going to need to update all that, which includes what Haunted Cave, so I'm guessing all that is going to be updated. And that's a lot of work because some of those textures are unique to the area and they would have to change out all of that. So it is a process, which is why I don't expect the other worlds to get the updates until way later down the line. But it's something that I feel like will really make the game better. Remastered Wizard 101, definitely going to bring people back because... Who wouldn't want to see it? Who wouldn't want to walk around in a world that you spent so much time in, in the past? You know, you have that nostalgia for the game. And I know a lot of people have. I've seen comments like this all the time. People find my videos. They haven't played in a long time. And they remember maybe the first arc. And if they go back and see like, oh, it's actually been changed. The textures have been updated a lot. That's crazy. They're going to want to play that again. At least just to look. Maybe they're, I don't know if they're going to continue to level their characters, but it's worth a look. So I feel like it's a good change. Let me know what you guys think of it because 
it is something that I feel like we've needed in the past. I mean, I've talked about this. I even, uh, in the Discord that Tara and I are in, uh, that Tara owns, I was talking to people and I'm like, this is something that I did a video on in July of 2017 where I said, what if Wizard 101 had updated graphics? What if, and I used the picture from uh, Scarks where he did the, the Toadstool Village in the wild and he kind of just made that into his own and made it look super high definition. And then I also ran around Ravenwood saying like, oh, they could update all the textures here. They could update the lamps. They could update the plants and all that stuff. That's what I was running around and talking about. And that's what's happening a year almost later. And we're about to get the test room for it. So test room probably going to be coming out soon. I don't know when could come out today. Could come out tomorrow, next week, the week after that. I don't know. I doubt it would be that far out because they've already given the teasers to all the fan sites and stuff. So we're probably going to be getting it really soon, but Hope you guys enjoyed this video, just me talking about my experiences with uh, Wizard101 before I did YouTube and kind of how I feel about the update. Once people see it, I just, I don't know, I just feel like once people see this update, they're going to be uh, more accepting of it. And uh, I don't know, maybe a lot of you guys are looking forward to it. If you're not, let me know why. If you are, let me know what you're excited for the most, like what area you're excited to see the most, because... It's going to be every area in Wizard City, I'm guessing. Maybe not at first, but I feel like maybe not with this test room, but definitely in the future before we get to the 10 year anniversary, all of Wizard City is going to be updated. I'm guessing that's the goal for this year. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you missed somehow missed the update on the tutorial with the, my teaser in there, definitely go and check that out. And, uh, Thank you so much for uh, watching all my videos. It's been awesome so far with Test Room coming up. And I hope you guys stick around for more videos in the future. So thanks so much. Leave a like if you guys have enjoyed it. And I'll see you all next time.